what is up guys JPR Tech here and today first of all I will gotta give a big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to my channel all of you who are viewing this video right now I just want to say thank you because you helped me achieve one of my goals and that was to reach a thousand subscribers here on YouTube and it took me so long to get here and mostly mainly that's my fault because I haven't been consistent but recently I've been on a roll and I guess that's some of the results of the hard work but it's all thanks to you guys because if you guys didn't watch the video if you didn't like the video and didn't subscribe I wouldn't be making this video right now so I just want to say thank you and with that said in this video I just wanted to show you give you guys a quick tour of my streaming setup that I have right now because as of May of 2021 we're still dealing with the pandemic most of us are still streaming or working remotely and I just wanted to share with you guys a little bit of the setup that I have built up now all the utilities all the apps that I'm using are all free starting with what I'm recording right now and that is iMovie and yeah with iMovie you're able to record whatever camera you have plugged in directly into your Mac so that is a very neat feature but when you pair that with OBS. Now, OBS is the center hub, it's what links all my different use apps together, bundles them up together, and then blends them, spits them out into the virtual camera. And that's what iMovie is watching right now. So, right now, iMovie can see any button I push on the OBS, it's all gonna go through uh, the virtual camera. So, no matter what camera angle I'm using, what software I'm showing you, is all gonna be shown here all right so let's go over through some of the softwares that i use to work with obs and starting with the very important part of all filming that is audio i use the free app that comes bundled in your mac GarageBand. now with GarageBand, i'm able to tweak you know the equalizer you got compressor you got so many effects and more importantly you could actually monitor the audio Therefore, that whatever audio you have coming out of GarageBand, I could grab that with OBS and then share that through the microphone monitoring, which in reality is just blending together with the virtual camera. And that is how you get awesome free audio. OBS also is awesome if you wanna share, uh, say a document or a PDF that you want to share with the class or with you know your co-workers obs can do that so you could use the preview app that comes in with your mac share your pdf and you could control it with your mouse or touchpad you can zoom in zoom out do whatever you want right there live through the virtual camera another app that you could pair up with is actually quicktime and that's a, this is something that's very cool with quicktime you're able to plug in your iPad or iPhone and monitor that, like actually see what the iPad sees. As you can see right now, you can see my desktop from my Mac. Since you can see everything that my iPad sees right now on the screen, that means that any software that you use is also shared. So say you get OneNote, get a white piece of background sheet and you got yourself a whiteboard just like zoom but this is even better because now you have stylus support so you could draw all over the place get some funky colors going on and even better yet with that same screen if you get another scene that has a chroma key you're able to get a clear board so now you get yourself you know a clear board that you could draw all over yourself that's pretty cool so it's you know really the possibility is just endless with all the free software we have you find little tweaks and work around and you could get some serious work done and last but certainly not least the free software that I really want to recommend you guys get especially if you're using OBS is touch portal because Touch Portal, even though it's a free software, you, you could pay to get upgrade to the pro version, which has even more awesome features. But I found that the free version 
is more than good enough for me. You know, even though we're only limited to eight tiles, as you could see here on my iPhone, we have just basically two rows and four columns. And one of the buttons is actually used for the media page because you also are limited to just two pages for the free account. But I found that to be more than enough for me but you know what's cool i'm going to show you a little workaround you can do to get even more usefulness out of the free version of touch portal now as you can see in my window right now i'm not limited to just those two rows and four columns you see in the actual editor window you could extend the grid as much as you want you'll be at you'll be warned that you can't use them in the free version but that doesn't mean i can make them in the actual software and i did I, I made a bunch of customized tiles that i just move them around as i need them and that just extends the usability of you know touch portal it's really awesome as you can see i got this thing crammed with different tiles and buttons that i use for my streaming, for classes and whatnot. So guys, as you can see, it, this is amazing. You know, all these free software that we have and especially, specifically with the Mac, you get all these awesome softwares like GarageBand, iMovie, uh, the preview, PDF editor, and also how well they work together with your iPad and your iPhone. You know, the limit, is just endless we could do so much with all these software for our streaming and guys if you did find this video helpful useful i would really appreciate a like smashing that like button sharing the video with other people so they also could learn something perhaps from this video by the way if you do have any questions any comments i would really love to hear your suggestions your feedback uh, keep them coming and that way we can all learn from each other and get you know this get by this 2021 or this you know remote working period that we're living in right now so thank you guys so much for your precious time watching the video uh, if you want to see more diy how-to videos and also my cinematic music videos consider subscribing that will be very helpful for me and yeah that's it Thank you so much, guys. See you guys on the next one. Peace.